specific anarta, namely the anarta of allowing the group to determine who's guru. Mm. You have to trace back the history. That is required. Prabhupada did not come here without a historical format. And Prabhupada emphasized an historical format. Right in the Bhagavad Gita, he emphasized it in the fourth uh, chapter of Gita, right from the gate. The historical format of the disciplic succession of the Guru Parampara in history, going back millions of years, and how the knowledge of Gita came, how the knowledge of Vyasadeva came, how he is linked with that Sampradaya. You do not become Guru by the strength of your group saying, we're appointing you Guru. And you do not become a Mahabhagavat by a rubber stamp, because the Guru says, uh, I think the group is a saying, I must be a Mahabhagavat, so therefore, although I know I'm still a dog, I'm really a Mahabhagavat, because the group says. No commission, no governing body can decide who is guru. By votes, by vetoes, by any process, it's not done that way. Prabhupada gave what the standard is. So if we walk back through the historical facts, we will see that there are gurus who were unauthorized because they created a new way of becoming gurus that is an anartha. Mm -hmm. So they carried anarthas into their way of being guru. Therefore, by definition, they cannot be guru because guru, if a guru has anarthas, you have nothing. If you say that anybody who's got an artist can still be guru, then anybody can be guru. Then you have nothing. Right. The guru must be totally transcendental to the influence of all sin. What to speak of sin? All anartha. Anything anartha. Artha means uh, positive gain. And anartha means uh, something that's unwanted. So anartha means that which has no connection to pleasing Krishna, that which is unwanted. Mm. And the sahajism of these groups that the follow strictly superficially, superficially they may follow strictly, but even if you look at that with a close analysis, if you have the eyes and knowledge, you'll see that even that's not so strict, and they really aren't too heavily into that anyway. <laughs> but we'll just, we'll go in to say, we'll concede the point. Okay. We'll say that some of them are doing real strict sadhana, kind of pucker profile, cutting a real good uh, swath down the path of the saffron lane. <laughs> the, the point of the matter is that they've got an arthas right from the gate of how the whole thing started. And if they say, well, that was way back in ancient history, that current still runs through. Because those original ones, some of those are still accepted. Because the ones that came second wave all were totally subordinate to this first wave. And the ones who came third wave were all subordinate to second and partially to first, etc. The current still runs through. Devotee means honest. What is a Brahmin? Devotee must be a Brahmin. Prabhupada didn't come here to train Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, and Shudras. He came to train Brahmins. Krishna consciousness movement means to create the ideal Brahmin class. Brahmin must be ideal. How do the Brahmins work? Brahmins work through Shamaha, Damaha, Tapaha, Shaucha, Shantir, Shantihi. Uh, the most important one, Arjavam. Gyana Vigyana Astikyam. Arjavam is what I'm going to talk about right now. Arjavam means honesty, simplicity, straightforward. What you see is what you get. We've lost the thread of that. That was very important in the beginning. We all came because, we came in the beginning to Krishna consciousness because the honesty was, was right there. Yeah. And what was that honesty doing? That honesty was confrontational. Mm -hmm. That honesty was saying, you're off. You got it wrong. You're rationalizing. You're not coming to grips with what death is. You're not seeing this life for what it is. You're not seeing how special and ultra rare the human form is. Human form is so ultra rare. And what is terrifying about misusing it is that once you lose it, it's going to take a long time to get back to it. And you can lose it again. 
we tend to think, okay, we're up here sitting pretty as humans. Compared to the other energies that are caught in these different bodies here, the humans are very well off. Absolutely no doubt about that. A lot more facility, a lot more ability to get free from pain, uh, a lot more ability to enjoy, a lot more independence, but still ultimately no actual total independence. That's impossible for the Jiva Tattva. But we were confronted in the beginning by just the, the jnana and the honesty it was confrontational. Remember your original question. The original question was, why can't we just attract? Mm. Why do we have to confront? But we didn't come because we were simply attracted. We had come, we came because we had internally confronted, what is going on? Who am I? Why am I being forced to suffer? Why am I forced to die? Why am I forced that I have this attachment to this one and this attachment to another? But I can't stay with any of these people. If you offered uh, people now, if you said, <laughs> okay, do you, do you say there's a lot of pain intrinsically, inherently in the material world being a human? Do you say there's a lot of pain? Yes, I accept. There's automatically a lot, way more for some, but it doesn't matter. For everybody, there's some pain. Okay. Well, let me give you this offer. Uh, you can live eternally as a human, with your friends who will grant them that they can live eternally as a human, but the pain must stay. Will you take it? Most would take it. But that's not offered. Dukhalayam ashashvatam. Dukhalayam, a place absorbed with miseries, ashashvatam, and still it's temporary. You can't, there's no, no locus standing. There's no place where you can fix forever. There's no physical body you can fix forever. No relationships you can fix forever. It's not offered. Everything is constantly in flux. Shara Bhavaha. Endlessly mutable, constantly changing flux. The point is, we have to use the human opportunity, see how rare it is. We have to get out of the entanglement, which can be done through knowing the art of dying which can only be done by confrontation, at least in the beginning. First comes the tapasya, the pain, the austerity and the penance, then the bliss. And the vikarmis and the karmis, here in the West we'll say the vikarmis, they know this principle. They're doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. They go work for eight, nine hours a day. First they go to work and then they come home to enjoy and then they get their mixed happiness unless they have a major argument. <laughs> So they already know the principle, they're working it, but that's the material. Then they have to get up in the morning, start all over, roll that, ra that rock back up like Sisyphus, mm -hmm. and go to work and get uh, pounded on by the association and by the bosses. Krishna consciousness means permanent solution. And permanent solution means to get in contact with Guru. The Guru is heavy with knowledge, and he can tell you how to get out of the problem. But there's no Guru if there's an Artha. And an institutionalized guru is loaded with an art. There's no such thing as an institutionalized guru. Well, guru. let me ask you this. Do you think it's better than nothing? I think it's worse. Mm. Yeah, Prabhupada always gave the example that uh, the, the German piano master, you know that example, right? All right. He would charge something like 2000 if you came in and you had no knowledge of piano at all. But then he would charge 5000 if he had knowledge of piano. Well, you'd think, knowledge of piano coming in, I should be charged less. No, because he has to unbreak and undo all the wrong habits, all the wrong quote-unquote knowledge. Sure, you got some knowledge in there that he's going to repeat, but you also have some misunderstandings that you think is knowledge. Asatye re, satya kori mani. Thinking something wrong to be right. You go to a bogus guru, you go to a false guru, then you'll be given some gyan, no doubt. Nobody is going to give straight nations. Who's going to attract by straight nations? That's not going to work. But it'll be mixed with 1% or 2 or 5% again. 